All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day of Carpal Tunnel. Today, we're back to continue on with our adventure through the Clicker Class mod. And so far, it's been pretty amazing. It's been spot on, actually. And yesterday, during the Eye of Cthulhu fight, I felt for the very first time my wrist get, you know, slightly warm. It felt like I was doing a workout for my wrist. Now, for those that don't know, that's not necessarily a good thing. So, the carpal tunnel, I think it started yesterday, and we'll see it devolve over the next couple of episodes. I'm very excited. But hey, yeah, welcome back. Today, it's Friday. So, um, so look forward to the weekend, everyone. I love a good Friday. I do. Monday used to be my favorite day of the week because I was like, oh, it's very energizing. Nah, I like Friday more now. I flip-flopped, all right? I'm a new James in this new house. I'm like, I can't wait for the weekend because I go out on the weekend and I, and I just get up to shenanigans. It's great. Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, we've got a really... <laughs> My voice cracked. <laughs> Amazing. That's me ready for the weekend. Um, what are we doing today? Well, we've got a, a fairly easy episode if things go well because today we're going to be doing... The Eater of Worlds. That's right, the Eater of Worlds. Um, so this could either be really good or really awful. So um, big shout out to uh, to Wiki Gang yesterday for uh, for keeping me informed. So the plan is what we're gonna do is the Eater of Worlds. Then we're gonna do uh, Queen Bee, and simultaneously, I don't know which order. We're also gonna do the Old Ones Army, which I'm very excited about. Now apparently there are no new drops from the Old Ones Army. But I still want to do it. I want to experience all of 1.4. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's the, the episode. Now, what do you guys think about life crystals? <laughs> There's, do you know what? Maybe just a couple of people. Just a few maybe raised the point that I wasn't actually at full health. I don't know how I didn't spot that yesterday. Do you remember how I started the episode and I was like, oh, I'm really tired and blah, 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 brain dead and all that. There we go. All right. <laughs> it was the truth. I don't lie around here, all right? When I say smooth, I mean no wrinkles. Right, okay, let's, oh, the dryad. Hello, um, okay. So they sell a bunch of, they sell a bunch of stuff. Nothing too essential for us. But I tell you what, I will actually buy some planter boxes. And I say this because genuinely, I want to experience all of 1.4. And what does that mean? Well, it means we'll probably be doing at some point a little bit of fishing. That's right. Yeah, I'm excited for that, to be honest, weirdly. See, I have to really be in the mood for fishing and all that. But um, but yeah, so what we're going to do now is get started on some some planter boxes just outside the home like this. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Let me just grab some seeds. I've got a lot of blink root, got a lot of data. I tell you what, do you know what I'll make? I'll do a couple moon glow, because moon glow is super important. We'll do a couple day bloom, so we'll do like one, two, three, and then only two blink fruit. All right, that's that's where I draw the line. Okay, this is a very long setup for an episode. You gotta you gotta admit it. That's one point four for you. That's what that's what I like about this update. It's the fact that you can kind of take it slow. Like for example, right now we don't necessarily have to go do the eater of worlds. No, no, no. We could go fishing. <laughs> How does that sound? Nah, I'm only kidding. We're gonna go do the Eater Wells. I just forgot the bombs. <laughs> that's why That's why I'm running back. Hey, the zoologist is back alive. Oh, all my friends are back. Well, I say friends. I did not make a big effort to, to, to keep them alive in the first place. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Actually, god! I, I'm so sorry. I am so... Oh, they're alive. That's really strange. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, admittedly, all right? Here's me, you know, hamming it up like, oh, my friends are back. I'm just like, do you know what my friends could need? Less limbs. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, bit of dynamite. Okay, um, well, that's today, you know? That's the energy of today. That's fine. I can't be trusted. I actually can't. <laughs> I hate to say it, because I thought I could. I thought I was a very responsible try player, but no, no, no. Apparently not. Um... All right, I'm going to rebuild this real quick, and then we'll we'll go do the Eater Worlds and whatnot. So, I think that's kind of like how it looked. To be honest, that's probably, that's probably good enough, all right? Let's just be real here. I don't feel like if they were alive and they were sentient, I don't feel like the decor would matter to them too much. 
because right now they're living in constant fear that I will wield dynamite against them. All right, so it's the Eater of Worlds time. So yeah, with it being Friday, um, I usually take the weekends off for anybody that's potentially new. Um, but I think what I'm going to try and do, now no promises, there may be a bonus video up tomorrow. See, I've got a lot of things to do today. All right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the routine. All right, so I want to, I've woken up, I want to record this. And then I've got to go get my, my car cleaned because it's a train wreck. I took it to um, to a bunch of like, I did a bunch of skip runs in it. Or like to the recycling center or whatever. So it's filthy. It's absolutely filthy. Like filthy beyond, I, I can't clean it. Like, so I've got, to, I've got to go take it to get cleaned. And then I have to go pick up some curtains that I had dry cleaned. So I've got to go do that. See, all of this ain't too bad. And then I want to come back, I want to edit this video, and then I've got to drive, because I'm off to go pick up Courtney's younger brother, because Courtney's younger brother is staying tonight, so I volunteered to, to go pick him up. Um, but then that's like a two-hour trek. It's it's going to be a hard one. And then I want to, like, maybe record another video. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So if there is another video tomorrow, be like, wow, James, I'm so proud of you. I don't even know what it's going to be. I, I don't. I don't even know if it'll be Terraria or something else, or... There's absolutely nothing. <laughs> There's nothing to get excited about. So maybe that's what's happening. But I'm sure you'll find out tomorrow anyway. So there we go. Right. Um, I think that's... Uh, do you know what? Look... Wow. 260. 260. Oh, I should probably take my buff, shouldn't I? So looking at that, by the way, I just want to say, this is probably why I don't have any gel. Do you remember yesterday? I was like, oh, I wonder why I don't have any gel. It's because of that. Right. So I'm going to try and butterfly click throughout the whole fight and see how it goes. We might be too weak for this, actually. I don't think I can butterfly click. Truthfully, because what's going to happen is... Swoo! Okay, right. I'm, I'm doing really bad. Okay, I'm, I'm really doing bad. Oh, my God. All right, stop. I can't butterfly click because I've got to move out the way and stuff. Yeah, I, I think I botched this. The best part about this, though, is the fact that... Oh, my God. Why, why am I flying so rough? Oh, that's why. Okay, right. So, I keep trying to, um, to double dash. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, the plan with this fight is if you can keep it, you know, exploding, just like my wrist, <laughs> then um, then you can get a bunch of hearts from it and you do all right. I can't remember. My train of thought is actually vanished. All right. I've got no health. No chance and no hope. Oh, my God. Well, the good thing is we've got so many Orby boys around here. We can have a second attempt. All right. All is not lost. Except from my prize. That <laughs> might... That might have disappeared, unfortunately. So, once again, I do actually just want to say thank you genuinely so much for uh, for an incredible week here on the channel. The reception to the series is... it, it Honestly, it really does make my day better. Um, I really appreciate it. So, um, so yeah, I, I want to thank you. This week, like, you know, likes have been way up and, you know, viewers have been way up and all that. And I, I really appreciate it. So, thank you for spending your time with me, all right? I know a lot of you are about to get really busy with real life, you know, like I say, with it being September and all that. But um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for being here, everyone, because it, you know, it's cool. I, I'm really grateful, and I don't say it too often. I mean, I say it enough, but you know, I, I, I just genuinely am. Um, you know, it's been it's been good, and thank you for bearing with me as well, because obviously it's been a bit of a weird, you know, couple of weeks on the channel with me moving house and all that. I don't think I was myself for a good, like, two weeks as well in these episodes. Uh, mainly just through stress and all that. So, you know, you lot are just, yeah, you're the bomb.com. All right? Certified. There you go. It's fully confirmed. If you if you didn't know now, now you know. All right? Get it on a badge. Do they sell bomb.com badges? Oh, I hope they do. <laughs> if not, I'm about to start a brand new business, everyone. <laughs> and you lot can be my first investors. All right. So we're obviously almost dead. <laughs> There's no denying it. I've got so bad with the flight time on this actually really isn't great. And I think that really throws me off, to be honest. I'm like, because I've got a pair of wings. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm really good. Oh, oh my, right. I, I've only just realized this. I swear to you. I don't have, I don't have, wait, 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 wait. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, all right. Okay, never mind. All right, it doesn't really matter. But here's what I was going to say. I don't have rocket boots. But in my mind, I was like, ah, oh, I didn't get the rocket boots from the chest. Now you have to fight the Goblin Army for that, James. All right? Calm it with the smoothness. What is it with me? All right? Smoothing every day. Okay, let me put down some, some campfires, and we'll do a, a round two. 
Uh, just gonna stand here and basically regen my health. The good thing about doing a double fight is we do get extra uh, shadow scale. So if there is like a sick weapon to make with shadow scale, we can make it, which is very nice. Right, so we're up to full health now. So we're gonna double dynamite that bad boy and go for it. Now, one thing to remember is the faster we click, the better. Hey, ancient shadow helmet. And that's because we also get these, um, we get these balls of slime, don't we? And I believe that they stay on screen. Now, one thing I've got to acknowledge, all right, because <laughs> I lived in blissful ignorance for way too long. The, um, the clicker that we had, all right, the, the candle one. That flame, it didn't do damage. <laughs> And I did not read that part about it not doing damage, about it just, you know, lighting up the way. And I said many times, man, I love that effect where it lit up the ground like a Molotov. Yeah, that's not what happened, all right? A lot of you were just like, nah, don't tell him. A lot of you were just like, nah, James, you, you really need to know the truth at this point, all right? I'll be honest, I was uh, an anti-candler, all right? And now I've opened my eyes, okay? I'll just be honest with you. I was a flat candler, <laughs> fortunately. I'm good though. I'm good because I, I thought it was a really sick effect. All right, maybe, maybe they need to make the Molotov cocktail. All right, and bring it back. When should you get it? You should get it from the Wall of Flesh, the Molotov clicker. Oh, I'd love that. I'd really like that. That's that. That'd be really nice. All right. So take notes. All right, write them down. Because <laughs> I'm spitting out all the good ideas. Now, when you think about my good ideas and you think about my, my pure genius, uh, thinking of the Molotov clicker, please do ignore the the other moments in this episode, all right? Forget about the dynamite, you know, it was, it was an act of love. Forget about my failed Eater of Worlds attempt. You know, just forget about it all, all right? Just, just chill out, okay? <laughs> just, you know, just remember the good bits, all right? That's, that's what I want. Well, that is life, um, and life is grand. Okay. <laughs> Eater of Worlds dead. Hey, we got a relic, all right. Cool. You always get a relic, James? Calm down. <laughs> but I don't know why. I saw a relic and I thought, ah, oh, pet. Yeah, it's the pet, isn't it? Nah, it's not, it's not the pet. Okay, all right. Open this up. Bam. We get a worm scarf. We get demonite. We get shadow scale. All very delightful things. Um, So do we do... I was going to debate doing another one, but I really actually don't think we have to. I don't think there's anything to gain from it other than uh, a pet. Ancient shadow armor, though. That's so cool. I really do like the, the ancient sets. They make me feel ancient, though. Because I remember when this was peak. Like, I remember grinding out for one of these and just being like, oh, this is so cool. Now look at it. It looks like a relic. Okay, so... Do we not have a, a guide alive? Oh, he, oh, he's up there. He's living up there. He's chilling in the sky. All right, let's bring him down to Earth. Uh, there you go, guide. Right. I don't usually like to do this, but I am going to have to rely on the guide. He, right, he has to be a, a mutual in this episode. Right, so Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Tell you what, talking about Kevin, right? Call me Kevin. He's been verified on Twitter. And his tweets about it have been, like, cracking me up so hard. It is genuinely so funny. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. What a funny bloke. I, I genuinely love that dude. All right. Um, Shadow Scale. We've never met, by the way, just to be clear. <laughs> I'm not talking about a good friend of mine. <laughs> it's just a channel I enjoy. Uh, Void Vault. Okay. So, Jungle Spores and Bones. I've, honestly, I've never got into this. I mean, you lot know this because you've watched me Let's Play it. But I've never never used either of these, really. And maybe in this series, I will. Because it's something different. So, there is no new clickers to, to be found, to, to be had. So, I think for today, that's pretty much everything I really wanted to get done. In all honesty. I mean, this is going to be a short episode. Nightmare pickaxe. Okay. Um, oh. oh. Oh, it's because maybe I didn't make the, the bars. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Oh, meteorite has landed. Great. Okay, this is awesome. This is good for a couple of reasons. Number one, very fancy. But number two, it's good because we can go and grab the meteorite clicker. Because somebody told me about that. So I imagine the meteorite one may actually be then uh, the one that we use against... Um, well, against um, the Old One's army, which I'm genuinely really excited about. I am. It's just, when I get into the mindset of, like, I really want to play all of Terraria, I, I really do stick to it. Well, I really do mean to stick to it. <laughs> but when I'm in the mood, I'm in the mood. You know what I mean? Right, so dump that in. Dump these in there for now. We're going to put that out. So, is it... I don't think I've got the... 
I, all right, I'm just going to check now. All right, I was going to make an obsidian skin potion, but I think what we'll do instead is we'll buy uh, dynamite because, you know what? Honestly, it's worked out very well for me in the past. So, do you know the animation in the background? Does that actually signify where the meteorite is landing on sidewise? Because I think I saw it going that way. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't fully paying attention. All right, anyway, let's go grab it. I'm really, I'm genuinely really excited for this. Oh yeah, so uh, one thing I did want to talk about is uh, is the PlayStation event. So I don't know if anybody watched it last night. I'll be honest, half of it was kind of like a uh, filler. But these are, these, that's to be expected at these events. Well actually, do you know what? It was more like five minutes of really good stuff. But the good stuff was like, good stuff. So, we saw God of War, right? Ragnarok. Oh yeah, here we go. Unconscious man. Get out of here, get out of here. Out, get out. I, I do think, by the way, we'll use clicker, but we'll also have to use summoned as well for this. Anyway, we found him. So we saw God of War Ragnarok. Saw some gameplay. Looked fantastic. But then we also saw the announcement of Spider-Man 2, which I'm pretty sure was announced a long time ago. <laughs> but it looked, it looked sick. It looked so good. So I'm really excited for that. That comes out in like two years. But take two years, Insomniac. I don't care, right? Just make it good. Um... So we saw that. Oh, here's our meteorite. So we saw that. We saw um, a teaser for the game Wolverine, which I'm very pumped about as well, because it's made by Insomniac, who are basically carrying the PS5 at this point. Let's just be real here. I'm not a PlayStation Microsoft, uh, you know, de a, a debater. I, I Oh, that might not work anymore in it. All right. I don't really care. <laughs> I just like good games. Uh, so we saw that Uncharted 4 is getting a remaster, which I'm kind of fuming about. Maybe some of you can relate to this, but I just played it. <laughs> like, I literally just played through it. Like, I finished it the other day. I finished it in this house. So that's that's when I last finished it. And I mean, it was great, though. I really I really did enjoy it. It took me forever to complete, though. Not because it was hard, but because I kept forgetting to finish it. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, that game was great. But I'm like, oh, I wish I'd waited now, because then I would have been able to play it in all of its glory, all right? In 4K... Um, you know, higher frame rate. Oh, I would have loved it. But it is what it is. I tell you what, uh, I guess that's a good thing to say. You know, just talking about remasters in general. I played through the PS4 version, and I thought, this game is gorgeous. It is stunning. I was like, this is one of the best looking games I've ever played in my entire life. Like, what a privilege. So, yeah, I guess it didn't really matter. You know, if I had that effect on me. So, maybe what I'll do is I'll replay the remaster in about 10 years. <laughs> And then I'll have the same effect all over again. But now I'm excited for that. Um, what else was there? A new Gran Turismo game. My brother's going to be very excited about that. My brother loves cars. All right. <laughs> this is, in fact, the brother that had a deadly car crash. <laughs> but he's doing great now, just to give you a bit of an update on that. That was a year ago. <laughs> but, oh, God. It's good to laugh about it, though. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. So, he'll be really excited about that, because he loves Gran Turismo. Um, and he's loving his PS5 as well. He's had a PS5 for a little while now. He's having a good time with it. Um, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, that's everything in the event, pretty much. Right, I'm just going to quickly run through the rest of this meteorite, and we'll hopefully make a brand new clicker, which should, should be fun. Should be fun. I don't know how much we need. The thing is with meteorite, it's, you get a lot of it. So it's not necessarily like you need tons and tons and tons of the stuff. So let's put this trophy right here. Very nice. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll we'll dump all that in there. Uh, see in a bit. Right, so bars... So I'll make some bars, and then I think it'll be a case of just looking at uh, weapons and just seeing like what we can make. So let's see, space clicker. All right. So it's twelve click damage, but every six clicks you get star storm. Okay. All right. Awesome. Oh, so just one thing by the way, because I didn't actually show this off. If you if you hover over the mouse and click left shift, it shows you exactly what it does. Oh my god, I just turned on sticky keys. I haven't turned on sticky keys in a million years. Anyway, causes three stars to fall from the sky and explode. All right, let's try it out. Hey, that's pretty cool. So they go to the level where you click. So if you click down here, or sorry, there. Oh my god, I decimated that body. And I'll do it again. Um, yeah, that was cool. That was really, that's a really cool little clicker. I'm excited. So this will be our, um, old one's army one. 
Right, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for a great week. Um, if you could do me a big favor and leave this video with a big fat thumbs up, I would appreciate it. And as I've said in the past couple of episodes, if you are in the need for some nice clothing, check out www.terrari.shop. That is the official Terrari store. And on there, there's there's a bunch of stuff. There's there's tons of stuff. If you use code small chippy, one word, capital letters, you save 15% on everything on the website other than Felix's PewDiePie's. Um, and you can check out some of my stuff on there and blah blah blah. Alright, okay. See you in the next one. Peace.